What is up guys? Welcome back to the Totally Rad channel. Today, we're taking a look at something pretty cool. It's not what you're thinking. We're not taking a deep look at the shotgun itself. It's actually this drum mag from Black River Manufacturing. It's a 20 round drum. It fits this Typhoon F12 that they sent out for me to test with. It also fits the VR80, I believe, and a bunch of other models that are listed on their website. But it's pretty cool to have a 20 round drum mag for 12 gauge. So we're gonna try it out today, see how it runs. So they do make regular size mags. They have varying colors. If you're a three gun shooter and you need a match your uniform or whatever the case. Uh, we're gonna take a look at this drum mag, which the first thing you notice and was the first thing I checked for because drum mags, no matter what the caliber, are a pain to load, but especially something like 12 gauge, it's gonna be difficult. They do have the dial or whatever you wanna call it on the back that helps you load this magazine. So we're gonna get this thing loaded up. So as you can see, it's got this big spring-loaded dial here to help you load. So you can twist the dial and push down on these rounds as you load. And it's clear so you can actually see them start stacking up in the back there. There's a lot of features about this mag that make it user friendly. So you twist the dial just a little bit while you're pushing down on your shells and it helps you load without having to, when you push on plastic, obviously it's plastic so it compresses. So this helps you so you don't have to compress it so much and you can see them loading up nice and even in there. They all have their own individual slot cut out. And like I said, this holds 20 rounds. So we'll just get it loaded the rest of the way and start shooting. But as you can see, we are fully loaded. All right, so we've got the mag loaded. It was very easy to load. Now it's time to see if it functions. We just got some plays on the hill. We're gonna shoot at them. This is steel shot, so we're not shooting any of my steel targets today. We're just gonna shoot at some clays on the berm. Maybe toss a few. This might be a little heavy of a setup for throwing our own clays, but we'll see. That ran amazingly. We hit all our clays, as you can see from the white marks on the, the hill that has been recently rained on. But I'm actually pretty impressed because I've had a lot of drum mags, mostly nine millimeter, five, five, six. They always have issues. Obviously we've only run 20 rounds through it, but so far no issues whatsoever. So let's load it back up again. Maybe I'll do a real fast mag dump and see how that does. So while we're walking up there, I will say, I've shot a lot of box magazine fed shotguns and this is one of the best shooting ones I think I've ever felt. Normally they kick pretty hard. This is very manageable and it's very, like most of them, AR style, AR style controls. This one comes ambi. Uh, this Typhoon F12 is probably my favorite AR style shotgun I've ever shot so far. We've got this mag loaded back up. We're gonna see if we can do just a real fast mag dump. See how it does. All right. You ready? That ran great. Zero malfunctions. Mag ran till empty. It cycled flawlessly. That's great news for the mag and the gun because this is a brand new gun. This is the first time it's been shot. The only thing I will say, you can see from the burning on my hand, uh, if you're doing that, because when, we, when you see pull the action with the shotgun, you can see his whole system moves under the handguard like that. And I was grabbing like that, like I do a normal AR. It got pretty hot. So if you're gonna shoot like that, I might run a wrap on it, maybe like a, a wise man company heat wrap or something similar. But I am actually incredibly impressed. As a man who's done more than my fair share of 12 gauge mag dumps, this one was very pleasant and ran flawlessly. I'm not very good at this. Don't judge me if I don't hit a clay, but I'm gonna try throwing a clay and hitting it on my own. Also, this is a pretty heavy setup to be doing with that with. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, another quick note before I do that. Long term, 
I'm gonna end up putting a red dot on this gun because using sights like this is kind of difficult, especially with something that recoils so much compared to what I'm used to. It's kind of hard to keep everything in there. But I am impressed with this gun and I'm gonna keep it, I think, they, I know they make some accessories for it like magwells and muzzle devices. So I think I'm probably gonna throw a couple of those on there. Maybe revisit a video just on this shotgun instead of on the drum mag. But for now, let's try to hit a clay. Wow, first try. I honestly did not expect that at all. So I just, I'm just, uh, I guess I'm just a better shooter than I thought. You're welcome. We're going for two in a row. And I will say, keeping in mind, I'm having to work a safety, which isn't that big of a deal, but that's an extra step added into shooting clays with this. So I'm impressed with myself because I don't really shoot clays ever, especially not with this type of shotgun. Ah, I missed that one, but the gun and the magazine cycled great, so that's okay. Let's try again. Try number three. Maybe these sights aren't as hard to use as I thought. Because we're two for three right now. Should we just go till I run out of clays? Clay number four. I even waited a long time on that one. We're three for four right now, boys. Clay number five. I'm proud of myself, I'm doing pretty good. We're at four for five. Four for five, throwing them for myself. Clay number six. Five for six. Clay number seven. We are six for seven right now. Clay number eight. Seven out of eight. Clay number nine. Barely nicked it, but still got it. We're eight for nine right now. Clay number 10. Ah, eight out of 10 is what I ended up with. But eight out of 10, throwing them yourself, not bad in my opinion. And we still have several rounds left in this. Should we see if it'll bump fire? I've never bump fired anything. I don't know why I'm trying for the first time on this. I can get two out of it. Empty mag. I'm honestly impressed with this mag a lot and with this shotgun. So, let's load the rest of our ammo and I don't know, what else should we do? Another mag dump? I don't know. Let's load this other mag. We've loaded up the rest of our ammo. It got us almost to half a mag. I'm just gonna do a quick mag dump, show that it's cycling yet again. I am legitimately impressed with this shotgun and with this drum mag. And uh, I'm gonna hold it a little farther up to hopefully keep some of the heat off my hands. Full mag, yet again, or I guess empty mag, it ran a full mag. So, that being said, I'm gonna put this gun down. Here it is, guys. This is the 20 round drum mag by Black River Manufacturing. Color me impressed. I actually am very impressed with this because the box fed magazine shotguns have not always been my favorite thing to shoot. They kick hard. If you shoot them enough, they tend to malfunction every once in a while. Uh, so far this has ran flawlessly. So I definitely recommend this. My first impressions are very good of this. We ran 75 rounds for it today, which is obviously not enough to give you like a full, we beat the hell out of it. We've been using it for a year type of a deal, but for first impressions, 
I would definitely go run this in a three gun match. I would definitely run this in whatever of my shotguns took it. So there you have it. Black River Manufacturing, thank you very much for sending this and getting the shotgun out to us. For those of you watching, thank you very much for watching and supporting the channel. Go check out the companies that help us make these videos. Subscribe to the channel, comment, let us know what you wanna see. We'll see you on the next one.